so what led you down the path of, you know, starting on Cork? Yeah, I guess it's two things. One was my entire life I've been on this adventure to say, how do I deliver value faster to the business? Even if it means eliminating even my own job, which is coding. I mean, I'm, I'm, I call myself a hacker due to my background. I still code. And coding to me is a skill. It's an art form. It's a challenge. It's beautiful when it's done right. Reality is that people just pump code out and that's not right. That's not what the goal of coding is. But um, it actually was, how do I actually deliver value faster? And reality is the conclusion we came to was the business actually will never know what they need until it's in production. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter how good they are, how well they know their business. Regulations change, requirements change, industry changes, competitors move faster. Everything changes on the fly. And reality is we get to production and then we're surprised when it's not what they wanted and things changed around it. So the, the truth was, how do you deliver what they need best is to actually do it where you could change it on the fly, get them to production in weeks, let them change it after it's in production with no risk. Let them say it, by the way, Hey, we're going to go live. We're going to expect you to change this five times before you actually are happy and do it in a way where you only charge if they are getting value as opposed to paying for predictive value. So this, the goal was to actually do it by eliminating all the barriers and the biggest barrier is code. That's why we call ourselves a no code platform. We are a true and the first ever pioneering the enterprise no code revolution is eliminating the barriers to change and barriers to getting value from technology across every industry. And we built ground up this concept and platform of creating software in an entirely new way, probably the biggest revolution and change since I started coding Perl in 1994 to do web. Um, it's probably the, the biggest advancement since, since, you know, using CGI scripts on the server side when web first started to come into play. So how does it actually work? Like on Quark and your platform, like how does it work and like how are, you know, companies able to get value out of building out these applications without code? Yeah, so number one thing is uh, coming as a CIO, we built the whole company based on would we kick ourselves out of our own office if we showed up. Number one thing is we hired a chief information security officer before engineers. We are storing personal privacy data. We're storing it across the world for, you know, Fortune 100 companies, dozens of clients. And we did that by building the system based on single tenant. We don't believe multi-tenant makes any sense anymore. Cloud has basically shown us that multi-tenant really doesn't mean anything. So single tenant, no clients combined with each other, yet we internally work like a multi-tenant shop, all the benefits of it. And specifically, it's around when you think about software. So I'll give you the best use cases. Um, So capture customer data. So give me a little bit about you as a customer and maybe, uh, you know, you're doing, you're purchasing a home or you're insuring a home or you're opening a bank account or you're applying for life insurance, or you're applying in the DMV to get a driver's license. Everything has the same problem, which is who are you? What are you trying to do? What's your, uh, let me get some information about your risk. So credit score, appraised value of a home, um, financial information, wellness information, your health score. And let me risk assess, let me underwrite, let me integrate with you. That entire business is the same across every industry. And yet we treat them all differently. Mm-hmm. We provide solutions traditionally and build solutions when we think that something's hard, we think we need to build it and create it from scratch. So in Uncork, you start with, um, who's my customer? So is it the consumer? Is it the call center? Is it the operations desk? Or is it headless as an API? All of it's the same to us. And then let me start drawing visually capturing data through the fields. So when you enter your social and on court, let's go out and get a credit check from a provider automatically. When the credit score comes back based on the credit score, let me go out and ask you a series of different questions on your financial wellness or health wellness. And within minutes, just drag and drop, we could create any application, anything from every single application that you've ever seen running in an enterprise we could create with just simple drag and drop in minutes in front of the client. And it's typically how we work is, you know, we don't respond to requests for proposals or information. We simply say, what's your toughest challenge? So, you know, we're in the door, we're sitting with the CEO and the board members and the CIOs 
we say, what's been holding you back? If you could wave a magic wand, what would you want to see? And they give us the thing that's the hardest. And then in a few, an hour, a day or two, we build it. And we say, here it is, it's working, it's production ready, you wanna go? Not a prototype, it's, it's ready, let's move. Um, and, and that's basically how fast we move and how fast we go. Um, and again, it's an, a pricing model which is no risk to them. We'll, we're taking risk on basically on our side because we believe it works so much and uh, I could show it.